Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast. Today's question, are you a dreamer or a dream crusher? Are you someone who encourages others to keep dreaming, to keep focused, to t- keep moving toward the, the direction of their dreams, to gravitate toward that which God has showed them in their dreams? I'm a dreamer. When I go to sleep, I hear songs. When I go to sleep, sleep, I hear stories. When I go to sleep, I hear so much that God has poured into me that is such a deep revelation. I am a dreamer, but a dreamer since I was a little girl running around hearing songs nobody taught me and I'm telling you there are some people out there who are dream crushers I was approximately in my probably first kindergarten age and I remember being a being crushed my dreams my desires my hopes were destroyed as a child I never sung before my peers until I was out of college I was probably in college or out of college all I know is it wasn't elementary it wasn't middle school it wasn't high school because my dreams were crushed why were my dreams crushed because I didn't have the knowledge the skills the understanding the maturity to know that there are such things things as dreamers and dream crushers. I didn't know. No one told me that somebody's going to try to crush your dreams, baby. And you need to ignore them. They're haters. You need to ignore them. They're jealous. You need to ignore them and stay focused on your dreams. Nobody told me that there were dreamers and dream crushers. So today I'm telling you there are dreamers and dream crushers. You cannot let someone crush your dreams. You must move forward. You must gravitate toward your dream. Whatever it is that God is showing you, don't let anybody deter you from that. Destroy it. Cause you to take a detour. Keep moving toward your dream. Keep working toward your dream because one day it will no longer be a dream. It will be reality. One day what you have seen in your dreams will come to pass, but you must keep focus on your dream because baby, there are dreamers and there are dream crushers. You got to know that they exist. You got to know that they exist. You got to know that they exist and you've got to be strong, steadfast, and movable, moving towards your dream, doing the works of God, because there are dreamers and there are dream crushers. Nobody ever told me. So today I'm telling you, there are dreamers and there are dream crushers. Move towards your dream. Don't let someone stop you. I don't care what age you are. I don't care what you have done. God is bringing you up. He's elevating you in 2023 to continue to be a dreamer. But one day your dream shall become reality as long as you do not faint. As long as you do not call someone to to make you stop being that dreamer. Ironically, I allowed someone to stop me from being a dreamer. But God would not let me stay down in that pitiful situation that I allowed myself to get in because I was a child. I understood as a child. I spoke as a child. I did not know that they were just trying to crush my dreams. I got tears in my eyes right now, y'all, because I tell this testimony all the time. And I don't blame the children that injured me. I blame the fact that I did not know we perish because of lack of knowledge. I don't care what age you are. And my parents didn't know because I never told anybody until now, until I became an adult, how my dreams were crushed by other children on the playground. But you can't blame the children. Who do you blame? I don't know because I don't play the blame game. I am not to judge. But I can only tell you that my dreams were crushed as a child. My dreams were crushed in middle school. My dreams were crushed in high school. But as as an adult, see, as I said, I was a child. I understood as a child. But now I'm an adult. I put those childish things away. You cannot crush my dreams no more. You might say I'm spitting out songs too soon. I'm recording songs too fast. I'm releasing songs too often. But that's okay because that's my dream. My dream is to release what God has placed in me. My dream is to step on the stage and allow the anointing of God to break the yokes and allow the Holy Spirit to move freely through me. That's my dream. God said when I pour into you, I need you to immediately pour out. Don't listen to the dream crushers. I 
operate in the platform that I've given you, the position that I have applied on you, the anointing that I have smeared on you. You are to be a dreamer that releases the dreams and it helps someone else. You are not to allow the dream crushers to steal from you no more. No more will a dream crusher come along my path and crush my dreams. So I'm here today to tell somebody, if you did not know, that there is a difference in a dreamer and a dream crusher. A dream crusher does not know that they have their own dreams, that they need to be elevating. They need to be nurturing. They need to be captivating. They need to be doing what God has ordained them to do through their dreams. And then there are people like me who are dreamers. And I have to continue to release what I see in my dreams, what I hear in my dreams. And I cannot allow people to crush those dreams, those images, those visions, those inventions, those projects, those platforms. I cannot allow anyone to crush them this season of my life. Because I once was a child and I understood as a child. But I'm no longer a child. You cannot crush the dreams that God has placed in me. Because I know you exist. I know that you are a dream crusher. And I'm telling someone out there, you must know that there are dreamers and there are dream crushers. Thanks for listening to the Barbara Cox podcast today. Dr. Martin Luther King had a dream. What's your dream? Keep dreaming. Keep focusing. Keep holding tight to your dream. Embrace your dream. But one day, it shall become no longer a dream, but a reality.